Well, subway riders, brace yourselves for the start of subway weekend closures. The first being next weekend. Service will be impacted 43 weekends this year alone. I'm joined now by Stuart Green, spokesperson with the TTC. Tell me a little bit about why these closures are necessary. Well, we, these closures are essential for us to do work to repair track, to upgrade the signals. That's very important work that we're doing. Uh, we have uh, the ATC signaling system that's coming down line one. We're going to continue that through the U this year and then right up to Finch uh, throughout the rest of the year. Are we seeing more weekend closures this year compared to previous years? We are seeing more this year than we did last year, that's for sure. And again, as I say, 24 of those weekends alone are for this work at Eglinton, uh, but also for our essential work. So there are more weekends this year. We try and minimize any impact on large events, uh, and we are we are aware, we're mindful, we work with the city on those closures. Last year, not all subway closures were accommodated with shuttle buses. Is that the case this year also? Well, so what we did last year, we had that big closure that we were doing from Shepherd West to uh, St. George. Uh, and what we decided to do that, that with those closure weekends, those weekend closures, is we increase service east-west. Uh, so we'll be doing a, a little bit of uh, that again this year. We'll look at alternate service that isn't necessarily a straight shuttle between stations. A lot of those closures will have shuttle that just runs station to station. Our thanks to Stuart Green. And, of course, the first closure is set to get underway next weekend. A full list of all the subway closures can be found on the TTC's website. In Davisville Station, I'm Faisal Amin for City News.